guys welcome back to my channel how was you guys new year's mine was just so busy i was outside <laughs> but yeah it was fun i had a great time um so in this this is what i'm going to start doing i'm going to start putting everything i use in the video ahead of time so you guys can at least get like a screenshot or whatever you guys need to know what i'll be using throughout the video so this is everything that i'll be using but we're gonna do something a little different today i'm gonna use stiletto i never use stiletto tips i do not wear stiletto nails <laughs> so we're gonna see how this come out we're just gonna try it because you never know you just never know i just thought my fingers are always too fat for stiletto nails but we'll see but before we begin go ahead and hit that subscribe button for you girls and if you're feeling generous go ahead and leave a comment and give this video a big thumbs up so you guys can you know keep contact with me but other than that let's get started okay you guys so i did prep my nails off camera just basically went in with my pillable base coat by unt and i just used the nail tips that i got from the car no no cart <laughs> my cart that i have never done before so i'm just going to try to shape them i did watch a video on how to properly shape these well, you know, different once you're watching the video there and trying is a little different, but <laughs> we would try. So I'm just going to play some music. Oh, but I am going to use the professional uh, 100 by 100 that I get off, got off of Amazon, I think. No, I got these from, hmm, I think I got them from two men. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, So I am going to use this just to shape this nail a little bit. So now that I shape them, if you guys have any tips on how to like shape stiletto nails a little better or if I did good, you know, I'm open to constructive criticism. But what we're going to go in is with my Melody Susie nail drill and I'm going to use a 120 sanding bit um, just to shape my nails just a little bit better. shine is off my nails i did use some rubbing alcohol just to take the dust off so now i'm going to go in with my three in one base coat um and i'm just going to put this all over the nail and then i'm going to cure it for 60 seconds but guys let me show you something before i even get started look what i did to my nail lamp y'all it's not finished yet because i gotta like rhinestone it all the way out and I had did my desk. I'll, I'll put a little video right here real quick so you guys can see what I've been working on. Because I, I love a little bedazzle. I like things to shine and glitz and glam. But, okay. So, what I do, let me go ahead and put this all over my nails and cure for 60 seconds. And I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. Now that these are cured for 60 seconds, I'm going to go in with the Bruno Poly Gel Extension. It's a, it is a temperature change poly gel so it goes from purple to blue like a navy i won't say like a navy blue but i don't know what type of blue so i'm just going to put that all over one two 
three nails. extension gel by McCart called Izba, I think. It's I-B-I, I don't know, that's I-B-I-Z-A. Abiza? Y'all know I can't, y'all know I can't talk. So I never use this, but I do know this do have a reflective little tint to it. So it do reflects in the dark. So I'm just going to use that on those two nails. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so now that the poly gels are all on this nail, I know they look a little crazy, but I am planning on doing like a galaxy type of nail thing with these. So I'm not, I don't really like this whole reflective with this blue. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> most likely polish it. It was a debate with the polish, but I am going to polish these three nails because I don't like it how it's reflecting with the blue. So I'm going to go ahead back with my 100 by 100. Actually, no. I'm going to take an 80 by 80 nail file and start filing down these nails. Oh, wait, let me get my nail duster. <laughs> I keep forgetting about it.
guys. So now that I hand shape these a little bit um, so they can just kind of form a little bit, I am going to go in with my Melody Susie and start hand uh, doing the nail drill. So I am going to keep this going forward and I am going to use an 80 by 80 sanding bit and I'm going to put that on number six. Okay, you guys, so now that these are drilled down with my nail file, I am going to take me a buffer and I am going to use the 80 by 80 by Mary Tine. Or you can use, if you guys like to use the individual one, um, you're more welcome to use these just so they throw away so you won't damage your buffer like that. So I'm probably actually going to use these so, since these are like one-time uses and I could just get rid of them while I have them. So I'm just going to use a few of these real quick. And I'm just going to buffer my nails out. Just basically really buffer them out. And I'll be right back. Okay. So what I'm going to go in. I'm going to go ahead and use this like navy blue. Maybe I keep like one of these nails like that. Just to see how it look. And if I don't like it, I'm going to take it off. So I'm just going to paint this whole nail this color. Because I just don't really like how this is looking with. Um that um this blue color god my, i can't even talk <laughs> Okay, you guys so i did go in with a double coat so i am going to do a reflect not a reflective but a cat eye gel with this one don't ask me to pronounce that name because i don't know how to say it so i am going to put this over this one this one and this one you guys if y'all saw me moving a lot that's because i was talking to someone but i'm going in with the blanca blank gel polish and i'm going to try to attempt to draw some moons in the star so we'll see how it works so i'm just gonna make this very light on the brush
Okay, you guys, so this is what I came up with. I am going to go in with these type of rhinestones here and as well as these rhinestones as well to see if I can open it, how I want this to kind of look. So I'm going to go ahead and put some top coat on this and then I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so now that that is done, let me get my rhinestone glue by my cart here. And then I'm probably, I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I do low-key want to use this moon, but when I did put it right here, it still have that yellow tint, which I don't want. I wanted to have like a... Yeah, I see like kind of like a blue tint going behind that dark color. So I don't, I think I'm just going to use, I mean, I think I can use it, which I think. So I do got some moons in here. I don't have any stars, surprisingly, like I normally do. But let me go ahead and get started putting these little rhinestones on here y'all Okay, you guys, so this is the finished nail look. My first time doing stilettos. I did go in with my Soul Cuticle Oil by McCart. And I did get these rhinestones. These are the glass, rhine, glass, whatever, hot. Well, I don't know what they call. But I did get them from Michaels. So they do have like a different, a close to Savosky type of shine. But these little ones that you barely can probably see, not really see. Um, they did come from Amazon, like the Aurora, Aurora. Y'all know I'm strong on R's. I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> Effect. So tell me guys, tell me guys what you think about this look, this galaxy nail look and me doing stilettos for the first time. What you guys think? You know, anything that you guys can say or what I can improve on would be awesome. I love reading guys' comments and just like, okay, thank you. You know, I'll try this in my next video. But other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do feel generous, go ahead and put the comment down below. Again, I love talking to you guys. But until next time, see you later. Bye.